the sound test room. Hello and welcome to the sound test room. This is the Hack Attack show. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and we are going to continue the TC11 guide. This is part two and if you haven't seen part one yet, I suggest that you go watch it. Now the last episode was all about the performance view, the thing you see right now. In this episode we are going to handle the navigation bar. In the previous episode I actually called this the menu and settings bar. Well actually I was calling this the menu and settings button. But this is actually the navigation bar and if you watch the previous episode then you know by now that you have to double tap on icons to actually open them up. So when you double tap the navigation bar icon you get the navigation bar. Here you have four views that you can switch between. The first one is performance and that's what we're seeing right now. Then you have the load share the patch and the settings. In this episode we are going to take a look at the load and sharing view. If we look at the left side we have the folders and patches. At the right side we have the patch information, a tag field, comment field, file management buttons and you probably recognize these if you're an iOS user. A very handy patch overview. If we look at the left section you can see different folders. 2.0 are actually the new presets made for the 2.0 version of TC11. The presets in the 1.0 folder was made for the 1.0 version of TC11. Then you have favorites, group which I created, tag search. The all patches folder is always available. It shows all the patches stored in TC11. Now the actual patch files are stored in the documents folder and can be found in the iTunes app file sharing section of your iPad. The patch name and very simply I don't think I need to explain it but it's basically where you name your patches. The tags field is very very useful. Now there are already some tags in there and you can easily put in your own. When you're tagging your patches if you press the flag button you get a list of known tags, tags that you've used or that have been put in before that you can choose from so it makes it easier for you to tag your patches that way. I can also add that some tags are managed by TC11 and cannot be added or removed by the user. I suggest you tag your stuff because it's so much easier finding something and it's good to have tags when you're using the tag search function. The comments field is great and I love when developers put in comment fields for patches and presets. I always write down what I'm thinking at the moment and if I have some other ideas that I want to get in there but maybe at that time I might not have time to do it. So I always write something down instead of writing it in the notepad or on a piece of paper like in the old days before pads and everything. The file management buttons are very straightforward. If you're an iOS user you know what these means but I'm still gonna explain them. The plus sign lets you create new patches and you have seven different templates to choose from. I will in future videos show you each and every one of these templates and how to utilize them. The next button is the saving button and it's basically where you save your patches. TC11 will keep a working copy saved in a temporary location in case you leave the app. However, if you read the manual, it says it's a good idea to save your work permanently by visiting this view. And me, personally, I also recommend saving a lot, a lot, a lot. Let's say I want to use this but create another one based upon this preset patch, whatever you might call it. You just hit the copy icon and it will copy it for you. It will also rename it. The first time you do it, it will rename it to copy and then copy two, three, four and so on and so on. The paper basket is a dead giveaway and it's basically the delete button. Now the overview is really handy because the overview lets you see visually 
straight away what a patch is made up of, what modules are in there and the way that they're connected. One thing that seems to confuse new TC11 users, 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 how do you preview patches when you're editing them? And the answer is simple, this little icon here. What is that? Well, if you grab it and pull it out, you can see it. It's actually a playable field. This playable field will put itself over anything at the space where you put it. Okay, that came out very strange. This is a layer upon all of the other layers. So let's say I move this one over here, then I can't get into the patch name field to type. If I press beside it, then I can get into it. But as long as I'm pressing here, I can't. You can put this anywhere in the viewable area and it's a very nice feature. Now this playable field doesn't provide you with those stunningly good graphics, but all the controller elements are there. If you're using gyro, it will function. The X and Y positions all works. You can actually play and preview your patch while you're tweaking it. This also works on the patch area, but you don't have it on the settings area. And of course you don't have it on the performance area. That's the playable field. So now you know how to preview your patches while you're editing them. As iOS users, we know what it means when you see dots down below. It means there are more pages to be discovered. So we slide to the left and here we can find the patch organizer. Here you can create and edit patch organizing folders and you do so by pressing the plus icon and a menu pops up with two options, group and tag search. You make tag search folders to filter all patches by a tag and a group folder to collect any patches together into a folder. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go into the all patches folder. Let's say I want to put ascension and ethereal in the same group. So I'll make a group and I'll drag Ascension in here and also Ethereal, like that. If we open up the folder, we can see Ascension and Ethereal. To close it, tap the folder again and it closes. Let me show you how the tag search folder works. It's basically meant to filter patches by a tag. Let me show you how to make a tag search folder and what it's for. Press the plus sign, choose tag search and a new folder pops up. Go into that folder and add a tag. Now I'm going to use one of the pre-stored one and I'm going to choose analog. It's going to filter all of the patches and only display the patches that has the tag analog in it. That way it's easy for me to find the analog ones. You close the folder by tapping the folder and it closes. Clearing and deleting folders is very easy. Simply long press and you'll get a menu, clear and delete. If I press clear, then it will clear the folder. And to delete the folder, long press and choose delete and the folder goes away. Let's head to the next page. Here we have the sharing functions and you know I love sharing. Here you can see that uh, my iPad has discovered itself, Jakob's iPad, and you have an email icon. To email a patch, simply press the patch that you wish to email and drop it onto the email icon. And instantly I notices that I have a problem with the setting on my camera. So if I move my hand like this, you can see that this is the email window. Uh, I don't want to redo this bit. Let's press abort and delete that. Let's say that you and your TC11 loving best friend is up all night uh, jamming in this studio. You both have iPads, they have discovered each other. And let's say you want to share a patch with your friend. You repeat the same process as you do with the email sharing. Long press and drop. Now it doesn't work for me because I don't have a second iPad and you can't run TC11 on your iPhone, otherwise I would try to do that. 
That's all for this part of this TC11 guide. Keep your eyes and ears open for part 3 where I will show you the settings page. Please subscribe to my channel, comment down below and as usual Doug Woods, Colin Swinney and me from thesoundtestroom.com wishes you a very productive week.